Oh. You go to instill a little magic into the world. Would you stop at the first obstacle or would you go all the way? This person would go so far that one character alone could immortalize him. And you guessed it. Walt Disney. <laughs> Walt Disney was an American entrepreneur, animator, and film producer, most famously known for the creator of Mickey Mouse. He is not only the founder of Walt Disney companies and of Disneyland, but of many other organizations and institutions all around the world. So, it's evident that we've all faced an obstacle, and the way we decide to go about it is entirely up to ourselves, whether we do or whether we don't. Mm -hmm. um, but again, is it, it's up to you if you're gonna let it stop you or if you're gonna continue to push through like he did. Alrighty. So, going into the business industry myself, I thought it was only the best thing to be able to know anything and everything I could about such a successful entrepreneur. So, Walt Disney faced many obstacles in his career, but through those, he was able to create an empire, a world of fantasy, and a legacy for himself. So first, I'm gonna talk about his inspiration and the very first projects that led him to where he was. Uh, then I'm gonna talk about how he created, you know, the magic, magic world of King of uh, Disney. And finally, I'm gonna discuss the legacy that he left behind. Oh, just kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so Walt Disney gained an early passion for drawing, which developed his interests. And at the young age of 18, he was already, he already had jobs as an illustrator, which he continued to do for theater programs and catalogs. Um, so when he left the Kansas film ad company that he was with, um, that's when he decided that he wanted to be a professional animator. So he went to go do his own thing and created with his own studio called Lapograms. Um, and what that was is black and white animated shorts based on fairy tales. But unfortunately, um, they went bankrupt not too long after. And, and according to, Disney, to the Disney staff in the article, Walt Disney, the man, his story, his work, and his innovations, Walt formed a bad business deal, which cost him his company. In order to make a comeback from all this, Disney and his partner at that moment, Works, set to create Mickey Mouse. Um, and in order to execute the program as best as they could, they partnered with Columbia Pictures in order to use new technology and to boost popularity. Uh, through that, the whole studio and the staff was able to expand and he won a lot of Academy Awards. So Walt Disney faced many obstacles, uh, but he didn't let them get in his path. It only paved the way for greater ideas. So, with ambitious ideas, Walt Disney soon had a plan for an amusement park that both adults and children could enjoy. Something that was small and intimate. Um, and so according to Louise Cranzy Wicks, in the book Walt Disney, a biography published in 2010, Disneyland took one year and $17 million to build, with the rest of the money coming from loans and investors who were interested in his presentation. So opening day on July 17th didn't go as planned. A lot of people were producing counterfeit tickets, uh, so the part, part met the maximum capacity pretty fast. And in a year, there was no way they would be able to get all of that done. So there were some parts of the park that were unfinished, which led to rides breaking down and eventually a gas leak. So it was safe to say that opening day wasn't as successful at all, but Disneyland was an immediate hit and not long after their, of the opening, uh, Walt Disney was already searching for new business plans to go ahead and open another theme park on the East Coast, which is essentially um, Disney World in Florida. So all good things come to an end, but his legacy and what he provided for the industry still stands. Walt Disney had been a smoker all his life and in December 15th, he died a circulatory collapse due to his lung cancer. According to Neil Gabler in an article, Walt Disney, a visionary who was crazy like a mouse, published in 2015, Disney was described as a corporate visionary whose aversion to typical business practice led to the colossus that is the Walt Disney Company. After his death, the Disney Studios continued creating films, and he even founded Cal Arts, which is a private art university. And not only that, but he laid the foundation for the Walt Disney Concert Hall, located in Los Angeles. His pursuits are what allowed many upcoming artists to strive. Unfortunately, Walt Disney passed before the opening of Disney World in Florida, but the company that was used to create the whole Disneyland franchise is called Wed Enterprises, which is based on Imagineers. 
and they have learned new ways to instill technology into theme parks and at the moment they are still active. To this day, now it is estimated that business such as, businesses such as Walt Disney Animations, Pictures, Records, Studios, Interactive, and Disney Nature are worth $35 billion. So after taking you through his projects and creations, I just wanted to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, first, I talked about the first projects that he had in mind, which influenced him to where he was today. Then I discussed the creating of Disney, and finally, I talked about the legacy that he left behind. As you can see, he faced a lot of obstacles with bankruptcy that he could have easily given up, but he chose not to. Um, it only pushed him to create a new world um, and a legacy for himself and his family. So. Uh, the question I want to leave today is how can you make your world of reality more important than reality itself? Will you stop at any given obstacle or would you continue to create your fantasy?